eighth graders, this is week 12. It's our first lesson of the week. In our textbook, we're on page 385 and we're in a new topic, topic eight, lesson one. Let's start off with a quiz. The deep ocean currents off the west coast of North America in the Pacific Ocean are A, freshwater, B, warm, C, fast, D, cold. All right, so I have a picture with my question that means i'm going to use the picture for my question this picture is a map of deep deep ocean currents so i'm looking off the west coast of north america in the pacific ocean i have tried to include that inside my yellow circle remember that the west coast of north america is the side that california is on new york is on the east coast so if I look within that yellow circle, it appears that my ocean current is red. Red means warm or hot in this picture. Blue will mean cold. Think like red hot. So what do you think the correct answer is? I'm going to eliminate fresh water because uh, I'm talking about the ocean and ocean is salt water. So that's just kind of like my general knowledge. Also, the picture doesn't say anything about fresh water. I'm also going to eliminate fast because the map doesn't show anything about how fast the currents are going. It just shows whether they're hot or cold with the colors. So correct answer is warm. Warm because it's red. Uh, usually on a map, if we're looking at ocean currents or wind currents, red will mean warm, blue will mean cold. Okay, today's goal is to learn about weather and climate. And actually, we have discussed this before. And I want you to take a couple seconds to try to describe the difference between weather and climate in your own words. So they are similar, but not the same. And one of the big differences is the amount of time. So can you just take maybe, I don't know, five seconds to think about how you would explain the difference between weather and climate to your little sister or your dog or anybody who's listening. See if you can do it on by yourself first. So if you need to pause the video, go and pause the video. Okay, so hopefully you were able to come up with some differences. I'm gonna give you my differences between weather and climate. I'm gonna start with weather. Because weather is the short term conditions of an area. So the time span is quite small when we're talking about weather. Weather can change hourly, daily, monthly. And you use weather to tell you how you need to dress for the day. So if it's raining, that is a short term condition that could change within the hour, that could change within the day or the month. If it's rainy, you look at the weather report, you need an umbrella. Or if you look at the weather report and you see sun, you might need to put on your shades. Um, again, this could change within 20 minutes if a big cloud comes over and blocks that sun. So if weather is short term, then climate is gonna be longer term. And indeed, climate is the average long term condition of an area. So it's usually the same year after year. There might be tiny, tiny changes, but Overall, it's the same. And I like to say that climate tells you how you need to pack for vacation. So, for example, if you're going to Australia during Christmas time, um, you don't know exactly what the weather will be like, but the climate tells you that you don't need to bring your big fluffy uh, winter coat because it's going to be hot. I don't know why I keep talking about Australia lately. Maybe I'm just watching too much 90 Day Fiance. Let's talk about climate, which is the long-term conditions of an area. Climate is relatively stable. That means it remains the same. It might be a few changes, but generally speaking, it's stable enough that we can make a pattern. But even so, climate can change due to the following factors. Distance to large bodies of water. So let's say that we have two cities that are relatively close to each other, geographically speaking. Maybe they same, have the same latitude and longitude on Earth, but one city is closer to a lake or ocean than the other. Then they're going to have a different climate. Latitude, that is your position west to east on Earth. 
altitude. That's your height from sea level. So even though you might be in the same area, the climate will be different on top of a mountain versus at the bottom of the mountain. Ocean currents, global winds, and more recently, increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, this is due to cars, factories, pollution that humans are putting out. Okay, so we're going to talk more about climate tomorrow, but for now I want to really make sure that you guys can tell the difference between weather or climate. So I'm going to give you a condition and I want you to describe whether I'm talking about weather or whether I'm talking about climate. Okay, let's give it a try. You watch storm clouds roll in on Lake Erie. Eventually, it starts to rain. Is this an example of weather or climate? Remember, weather is short-term conditions. Climate is the pattern of long-term conditions. What do you think? Hopefully, you said weather because it's describing the current conditions. And that doesn't, uh, doesn't matter if it's the next five minutes or maybe the next five hours. Um, it is not the long-term condition. So this storm cloud that you see rolling in on this gift, it's not going to permanently stay there. All right, are you ready for the next example? You're packing for Christmas vacation in Cuba. You pack shorts, tank tops, and bathing suits. I like this picture because this woman or girl is making a list. Do you guys make a list when you pack? I, I did, never used to, but one time I was packing for a very long-term trip, three months, and I packed everything in like two suitcases. I weighed them. I was all set to go, and I got so nervous that I forgot something that I unpacked them all and then spent like another couple hours repacking. So I said to myself, I'm not doing this again, so now I just make a list, and it prevents me from forgetting stuff. Anyways, so again, Christmas vacation in Cuba you know that you don't need to pack like jeans or a big thick sweater that you probably are going to be fine with just shorts tank tops or bathing suits are you predicting the weather or are you using the climate to tell you information on what you should pack hopefully you said climate you may not be able to predict the weather for each day on vacation but you know that cuba's climate is warmer than buffalo in the winter so that's how you know that you can maybe bring your spring and summer stuff instead of your buffalonian winter stuff all right next example you look outside and you see that it's snowing i hope we don't see this for a while although it did snow in may what do you think weather or climate Weather, what you're seeing outside right now is the current condition, not the long-term condition. All right, when back to school shopping, your mom wants you to buy a coat because it'll be cold soon enough in Buffalo. Okay, so you guys know the moment that it hits like mid-June, the schools will start, or excuse me, the stores will start putting up back to school stuff, assuming that we can get into the stores, but I'm sure the moment the stores open, it'll be back to school already. So what do you think? Is your mom using this information about the weather to tell you that you need a coat, or is she using the information about the climate to tell you that you need a coat? Climate. You don't know the exact date it'll start snowing, but your mom expects that winters will be cold in Buffalo. This is the long-term condition or climate of Buffalo, so you know you're going to need a good winter coat year after year. All right, this is our last one. Over the last 45 years, average summer temperatures are getting hotter across the globe. So this shows you the summer temperatures in 1970 compared to, or 1972, 2016. You can see the overall pattern is increasing on the temperature. So is this climate or is this weather? This is climate. So again, the climate is stable, but it can change. And the average temperature of Earth over the last few decades is getting hotter, and this is climate change. Now, climate change is, is natural, um, 
But the current climate change that we're seeing is a direct response to humans and not just kind of the natural fluctuations. This is because we're putting so much carbon dioxide and other chemicals in the air due to manufacturing and transportation. Okay, let's end with a quiz. What factors affect climate? Is it A, latitude, or excuse me, A, altitude, B, latitude, C, ocean winds and currents, or D, all of the above? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to eliminate anything because the correct answer is all of the above. We'll learn more about this yesterday. Um, I'm excited that it's June, but there still is a couple couple more weeks of school. If you are just joining us for the first time, Nobody yep, I'm, I'm still chatting. My nephews just walked in. Okay. Um, and my sister. Wow. <laughs> it's a party. Uh, <laughs> if you are just joining us, it's never too late to start. Every little bit that you do is going to help you be a better high schooler next year. So I will see you tomorrow.